Good afternoon, this is Casey, Five Tons with Guns, back with you. And uh, today we're going to be uh, showing you how to, uh, how we make our own Petrobond. <clears throat> First of all, what we do is uh, we do a 25 pound batch at a time. And we get this from the, the Home Depot store sand and tile grout. There's a, you know, it's got latex modified polymers in it, but uh, we've been using this for quite some time, for a year, and we've been coming out with uh, successes. So we're going to uh, demonstrate to you uh, how we do this. Some of the tools that you'll uh, want to uh, make and all right we, we chose bright white because as you can see over here this is our last uh, petro bond from the salmon tile grout and uh, we started off with 50 pounds, and now we got 27 pounds. And, uh, you know, I'll save it. You know, it, it's still good, uh, good, good petrol bond. Anyway, first, you'll take your, uh, your bag, do it out in the wind, outside. Now you take your little hoe, spread it all out evenly. Nice and level. Then you, uh, Dig yourself a little of a basin here. We get a little bit of a close up here. And uh, we're going to have, uh, that's, that's where we're going to put our oil. So, all right, we got a little basin here, and everything's pretty much evened up. And, and uh, you got about an inch of, uh, of your, your sand on the bottom of your of your tub. Next you'll take uh, you take some uh, 30 weight motor oil and in your basin you will pour that in here. The whole quart. <clears throat> then you'll take and uh, break down your uh, tops of your banks of your basin, down on, up on your oil, like that. Just keep working it. I used to use the, uh, you know, I'm going to talk while I'm uh, doing this. I used to use the, uh, the water-based sand, creek sand, and bentonite, and uh, got good castings out of that also, good results.
anyway, uh, keep, keep keep working, working the path and forward a little bit, and you'll see all these uh, the, these clumps, and uh, you can see how uh, the oil has uh, permeated into the uh, the sand. Half and forward. Level it out. Then you'll take this tool here. Yeah, it's a garden rake. You want to do, uh, you know, in a tub like this, you want to do like 25 pounds at a time. We're doing 50 pounds. And, uh, we're going, we are taking you from beginning to end. You're going to see the end result on your petrol button. I'm not going to work this up as much as I, uh, wood because I don't want to bore you but still this is how it uh, how I would do it how I do do it and uh, you still got these little clumps here <clears throat> next I'll take uh, th this tool here I made you know the wheels are uh, what, what we cast with the uh, little number one uh, frying skillet. And that seems to kind of level out the clumps a little bit. We'll run that back and forth. You know, we made this tool. And uh, I don't know if it's, uh, you know, quite right or not. But it's... Uh, by far better than the tool that we 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 were using, and that uh, here's uh, where is it? Here we go. We were using using a uh, a grinder wheel dresser. You know the wheel on that to uh, knock down all the clumps. So this is a little bit of an improvement over that, but I don't think it's still quite right. I don't really uh, have the motivation, or well, I, well, I do, but I'm not ready to uh, build my own molar in order to uh, mollify this this sand with oil. But now you can see down here how we've uh, got a wheel rolled and all of the. Uh, Although the clubs are out of it. And we'll uh, level out everything here again. Like that. And we'll take our, uh, our mortar here. We'll mash it down. got a, a good uh, good flat surface everything is packed down with your oil <clears throat> but the next uh, next thing I'll do yeah you know, I've kind of hurried this up a little bit for you I would take a little bit more time with it 
but uh, I want you to, you know, get you, I don't want to bore you. Next I'll take these panes of glass. put them over this this tub here and I'll leave it out here in the Arizona sun that way that oil is going to emulsify and permeate and penetrate you know with the heat from the sun the solar heat and uh, that will emulsify that oil all that much better into your sand and your Portland cement. So I lay this out here for a day or so, let it get good and hot. Then I'll, uh, I'll take the harrow, the rake, and go through it and I'll, I'll give it a test. You know, it may need a little bit oil of oil, it may not. But now, after that, after a couple of days out in the Arizona sun, I'm gonna bring in what the end result is. Okay, now if you'll come over here. Okay, your test for good petrobon or your water-based green sand would be if you, uh, you you take of it, take a part of it, a handful of it, and you can make a clump, like a little grenade. And then you can easily break it apart like that. We've been using this for about a year on our castings. And I have a lever in it. And that, that's how you would do it. Now, each bag, each bag, you know, a 25 pound bag, it's going to cost you at Home Depot $16 or something. So we've done 50 pounds. That's what I feel is going to get me through this year. Get out of here.